We also know from our new insights feature that between Blitz and Bullet, Hikaru has made more than 5,000 brilliant moves in his time on chess.com. That means there are a lot of games and moves that, to run through and choose from. So choose from. So this is by no means a complete collection, but here are some of our favorite recent brilliant moves from Hikaru. As I would say, I'm going to beat my chess. 5,000 moves, you guys. 5,000 moves. Pago, baby. 5,000 brilliant moves. I'm the best. If you give Hikaru a forced checkmate, he will find it, even if it requires a queen sack. We begin with a devastating final move against GM Daniel Naroditsky, reminiscent of the famous Levitsky Marshall game, where pristine pawns cover in front of the king was also no match for a queen. Unfortunately, this one I already know by heart because this was very recent. This was on stream maybe like a month and a half ago. This is one where I had the knight on f4. This was out of this e5, knight 6, g6 uh, Spanish, where I got knight f4 and I had some queen h3, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see. Um, yeah, e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6. Yep, exactly. Bishop b5, a6, and g6, of course. Obviously, what a surprise. So, this one I remember quite well. Yeah, d takes, knight d5, takes, knight e7. Oh, it's February? It was, this was really that long. Wait, wait, wait. This was really that long ago? Wait. For real? Like, I remember this game. Like, this is one where I get knight f4, right? Yeah, I get queen h3. Oh my gosh, is time really going by that fast, you guys? I could have sworn this was a game like a month ago. This was really in February. Jeez, that's that's insane. That's insane. Like this, I feel like this game was like a month ago or two months ago. I remember this game like it was yesterday. That's a really really bad sign. That's a, that's a very bad sign. Um, really February. Wow. Thank you, sis admin, for the five gifts as well. Thank you so, so much to sis admin. That's um. That's insane. That's insane. This was February. Really? Wow. Wow. I, I'm just shocked. I, I'm actually shocked. Shocked. Okay. Okay. The finishing as GM Srinot Nari Yanan may be a bit simpler, but still a striking conclusion to a sharp game. Srinot. Okay. I, this one right off doesn't ring a bell. This doesn't ring a bell, but let me see what the opening is. Opening is Knight of 3 D5, right? Tonight, three, d5, b3, c5. Sorry, I didn't scroll down enough. Yeah, this one doesn't ring a bell. This one doesn't ring a bell at all. Um, This one doesn't ring a bell. So let's just go through the game. Okay, c4, knight c3, should be two. All pretty normal so far. All very normal, all very normal, all very normal. b4, f3. Oh, I was black. Oh, I was black. That's why. Wait, I was white or I was black? Oh, I was black. So no, no wonder I didn't remember it because of course I was thinking to myself, like I would never play C5 here. Like I would never, I would never go, um, C5 is just a very bad positional move by Serenoth. So yeah, no wonder I was confused. I'm like, well, I would never play C5 as white. So that's why. Okay. So I go F3 takes, I take, take. Okay. This game does not ring any kind of bell. I have to be honest. Queen H5. Okay. 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 Huh. Like this this feels vaguely familiar now, but it doesn't really ring ring much of a bell. This is like very vaguely familiar. Okay. Oh, and Queen H2. Okay, yeah, and Rook H3. Yeah, now that I see the game, I mean I vaguely recall it, but there's no way I would remember it right off. Um okay, so this is the second queen sack we have here. So let's keep going. The next one we have the discovered check against I am Liam Brolick that follows as another layer to mate. Still no problem for car. Okay, this one I have no idea what this is, honestly. Because uh, this was just a random 2800 I was playing in Blitz. So now I have 3d5. Okay, b3. All pretty good so far. Bishop f5. g3. e6. Knight h4. Bishop g4. Okay, pretty standard. I think this was bullet, actually. Right? This was bullet. I've never played this order in a Blitz game. So let's keep going. Okay, all very standard. Everybody's seen me play this opening a million times. c4. Knight b3. e4. Trade. c5. d4. And steamroll him on the, on the queen side. a4. b5. Trade. Queen a6, of course. Bishop f1, of course. King d1, of course. Bishop c3. Rook b1. Knight a5, of course. All very standard. What is this ice cube thingy? Why am I getting this ice cold? Uh, I saw this all over XQC's chat last night when I was watching briefly, but what I don't understand. What is this? Is this a new emote or something? I, I don't understand. So rook b8. Um, bishop e2. Rook b7. Rook b1. Uh, rook b8 bishop b oh bishop b5 look at me oh yeah yeah i'm very i'm just a very good chess player now i remember this one now that i remember the position after bishop b5 yeah there's some queen a7 right yeah yeah queen a7 and a b5 yeah this is actually a very beautiful checkmate um this is very very good 
Wait, what? Okay, this is this is uh yeah, very good. All right. Okay. Even when his opponent has two queens, Hikaru will calmly give up his own one called for. I am Muhammad Muradli. May have expected 36 bishop takes c1 and the game continues, but routine recaptures sometimes don't cut it. Okay, so this is against chess lover. Um, right off, this doesn't ring a bell. So, okay. All right. Um, yeah, let's... Okay, you guys, I I, I must have missed something uh, in the emotes. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, so we have a Le Grand Prix, Le Grand Prix attack. Um, pretty normal so far. Queen e1, b5, f5, uh, b4, knight e2. Um, knight takes e. This must have been bullet, right? Yeah, this was a bullet game. So he sacked a knight. You never sack like this. The trade, knight f4, knight h5, bishop h6, knight h4, queen g3, d5 played here, knight to f5, bishop b2, rook e1. Right, and this one I think I was I was winning and then I was losing. Right, I, I get queen h4, I take h5, and this one I was completely lost, but I tricked him somehow. I forget how I tricked him. Rook f6, right. F2, h3, king h2. Oh, right, there's takes and rook, rook, rook f8. Yeah, this one, I mean, once I see the game, I recall, but it's not something that sticks out of my memory immediately. Um, but this is also a good one. Okay, and we have an image of myself. It says, queen sack. Um, okay, not bad. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right. That, that's a normal tactic. It's not brilliant. Again, as I said, these were automated. They came up with 5,000 brilliant moves. So uh, they don't have... Um, I mean, this wasn't done by a human. This was done by the, the algorithm that basically pulled up everything. So it's all good. It's all good, you guys. Um, it's all good. Okay. All right, so we have Queen Sack. Uh, what do we have next? We have Tactical Force. What is this? Hikaru has routinely dazzled his Twitch audience with his speedy, incredibly deep calculations, which he streams live. But even if you don't catch his tactics live, his crisp calculation of forcing variations and clean tactics is always apparent. Here is a surprise promotion tactic in one minute bullet against, GM, against bullet specialist GM Andrew Tang. All right, what do we have? We have B3, D5, Bishop B2, Bishop F5 played here. Knight to F3. Actually, I haven't had Tang in a long time. Uh, is Tang is Tang still a thing, you guys? I, I forget. Is Tang still a thing? Like, you know, the powder, the, the you pour in? Um, is it? Because I I mean I when I was young, that's what we would have we would have I would have a lot of I would have a lot of tang. Tang is dead? No, Tang is still around, right? It's like the orange powder. It's still it's still around, I think. Um Tang is not a thing anymore. Oh. Oh, very sad. Because I grew up with it. Okay, knight of three, e6. What do we have here? Uh, e3, knight of six. All pretty standard. All very, very standard. Um, okay, very normal. F3, c4, trade. Four, knight d2. Okay, all pretty, all pretty normal. Nothing too crazy. Um, okay, game keeps going on. On and on and on. On and on and on. Oh, I found rook h8. Oh, that's a nice tactic, actually. That's a beautiful tactic. That's a nice one. That's a, that's, that's a nice tactic. Um... Yeah, that, that, that is pretty good. Okay, and then I go rook b6. Yeah, this is also pretty beautiful. It's rook b7. And then he, he can't stop the pawn. No, this was this was a very uh a very, very good game. Okay. Um here's a picture. Nakamura dancing like it's 1999. When even what year even was this? Wait, I'm at TSM in this video, right? So if I'm at TSM in this video, but I'm facing the other way, this must have been um was this last year or was this two years ago? Uh, I don't I don't remember when this was this last year. No, because last year when I played Ali Reza, I was playing from home. I wasn't playing from TSM. Oh, this is 2020, end of 2020. Makes sense. Okay, let's watch this clip. Wow. The queen got attacked. And he, look at him. He's partying <laughs> now. He's partying. He's playing to the crowd. He's playing to the crowd. He oh, has man. his fans. And look at him. He's waving it up. I mean, he may not be able to dance, but he's dancing all <laughs> over his crowd. All over Ferruja right now. I mean, he's like, yo, yo, what's up? What's up? I am killing this youngster. You are maybe the future, son, but I'm the present and I'm going to show you how it's done. And look at him. I must have been winning this match, like right? There's no time left. That's why. By the way, I want to say one thing about this clip, by the way. One thing about this clip. Where is the, Where is this Maurice uh, during the World Championship? I got to say, where is this Maurice? Where, 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 where is old Maurice for uh, for the World Championship? Like, if, if Maurice was saying this, you know, during these press conferences, it'd be a lot more exciting. I, I have to say, like, 
like Mar maurice is being so quiet he's like he's like stone face like where is this maurice we we need this maurice during the uh during the world championship it was a clone yeah it was a clone right um yeah yeah no w sim maurice is like uh is, is so solemn yeah I, I i was afraid i don't know but yeah i mean i i wish like i wish maurice was just like on fire because like the way he's on fire here would make the press conferences much more exciting he's in dubai that's why well no comment there you guys uh definitely no comment because who because I, I actually have a feeling the world blitz and rapid they're gonna try to make it happen in dubai is my bet so uh who knows who knows all right let's keep going all right if a bullet whiz like jam tank couldn't withstand hikaru's tactics what chance does an anonymous master have this is a very recent game isn't this this is like really this was august Jeez, time really does fly wow play late no sleep this was august i thought this was like two months ago also okay insane okay so we have a french what is this uh all pretty normal very very normal very very standard um okay standard 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 uh i get some bishop e4 i guess or not maybe not um okay all very normal bishop h oh no okay rook f3 f1 oh ouch rook f7 that's actually really brutal really brutal with queen g6 mate next move that's actually quite brutal yeah that's that's pretty rough all right pretty good tactic okay let's keep going oh dear oh dear even Gotham Chess is not immune from Hikaru's tactical blows. I am Levy Rosman began this game in a position from the Immortal game with an extra move for White to boot, creating a plus five starting edge. Hikaru won anyway and saved his best move for last. Yeah, actually, the funny thing about this one is I remember playing Levy in this match, and I think I want to say it took him like eight tries before he won. Like Levy, despite being plus five in the starting position, it took him like eight tries before he actually won a game with White. Um okay so knight d5 is played let's flip the board knight d5 queen b2 king g2 knight a6 of course stops knight c7 check here um okay b1 i was lower rated uh i think that's because uh it's a it's a variant when you start with a setup position there are no ratings basically so i'm not sure how levy had a 2650 rating at that point maybe it already been doing a lot of like collabs with set starting positions um but that's that's the reason for it because it's a set position from the get-go so it's kind of different but queen a3 is played here um rook b3 queen a2 rook c3 bishop b7 h6 okay i take bishop e5 bishop b5 takes f6 here and i guess what i'm up a piece rook a1 takes but yeah but levy gives a levy plays rook a1 which is an absolutely horrible move here trying to simplify the position he should just move the bishop away and he's probably still winning but rook a1 is just a terrible terrible move so i take i go rook takes c2 King f7. This still might be winning, by the way, but knight c5, knight e6, king e8. Okay, and now knight e8, h5. Oh, and I, I actually give up the rook here. Kind of interesting. Um, knight h6, knight e6. Oh, rook h2. Oh, that's a nasty tactic as well. Because now when white takes, there's knight g4. He goes over. Um, I have h4 check. That's pretty nasty that's actually really really brutal what is this a blog post no it's an article by chess.com today about my 5,000 brilliant moves that I played on uh, on the website um uh since since I created the account so it's, it's about my 5,000 brilliant moves uh that should be the title of my next book my my, my 5,000 brilliant moves um that that would that would sell out right every every one of you guys would buy that book <laughs> Pago yeah Pago exactly um so yeah so th this is another 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 great tactic from the game against levy what else do we have we have tactical finesse someone okay what is this someone um some some sometimes stunning tactics don't win instantly but are instead but instead they lead to some major positional gains for example see the positional pressure applied here to gm jose martinez thanks to a fork threat all right what is this game e4 e5 i mean i I'll, once i see the once i see the position i'll definitely recognize it but this is uh this is not 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 ringing a bell immediately okay we have the classic vienna opening here all very normal um f4 d4 all very standard ah yes this is the one where he has bishop f2 right this is the one where he has the bishop f2 check and i have to sack the queen early right i end up with like a rook and a bishop or is it two pieces for the uh for the queen and I think there was a moment where it was, tr it was problematic. This was in Arena Kings like one month ago, right? No, it was three months ago, September. 
Jeez, that's crazy. Crazy. Oh, sorry. I should scroll down a bit further. Yeah, apologies. But yeah, this was in... Uh, really, this was Arena Kings in September. It feels like this was a month ago. This one I remember, though. And at some point in this game, I also thought I had trapped his queen on, like, B2 or something. And I hadn't trapped it. So, Bishop H3. I take... He castles. Of course, if I take e7, he has bishop f2. Right, and, and like I was such a moron here. If I go, if I go, uh, or not if I go king d1, I think here, if I castle, I win the game. And when I was when I was playing in Arena Kings, I thought that after after I sack the queen, rook d1 traps his queen. I, I remember this very clearly. I thought, okay, well, I take and I play rook d1, his queen is trapped, but his queen can take c2. Um, and now the game goes on. I still win this game, but I was, I remember like that. I thought that basically it was trapping the queen or else I never take the knight. I just cast along and I win the game very, very cleanly. So anyway, let's keep going. So I take, I go rook d1, um, takes e5, e6, right? Yeah. I got to simplify knight e4 to plop the knight on g5 goes here, rook d4, c5. And now I go bishop b3. He goes queen b2. He actually he should have sacked the queen here. So the bishop, I'm kind of surprised he didn't do that in retrospect. D2, rook d5, g6. Now you take the pawns and you mop up the board, put the knight on e5, and now rook d6. And if black takes the rook, there's knight f7 with the four. So he goes here, and now just knight d4, and these knights are killing it. Knight f3, g5. Now I think I just mop it up somehow. I just take the pawn, check, 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 and it's all over. So, no, this was a good game. Um, Very, very good game. Very, very good win. Uh, you're saying this was not in Arena Kings since so September 6th was a Monday? Is it actually correct? This was in something that I thought mattered. No, September 6th was a Monday, you're right. I thought this was some event or something that really did matter. So it's kind of weird, actually. This, this does stick in my memory quite a bit. All right, here's another picture. Okay. You'd smile, too, after playing tactics like these. They should have probably just put a pogo over my face and just, instead of just using a traditional picture, if I'm being honest. Um, this is just way too bland and too old school. All right, let's keep moving right along with the article. When it comes to the story of chess.com, you can't tell it without either Hikaru or GM Robert Hess. In this game, however, the world Hess champion finds his position in trouble due to a pin on the long diagonal. Um, this is not a bond cloud game, which makes it very sad because I actually beat Robert Hess in a bond cloud, but oh well, that's life. Um, so D4, Knight F6. Knight f3, g6. Oh, by the way, the I don't know if chess.com explained the, the Hess World Championship, but the reason that they said that is because apparently, um, apparently FIDE was trying to say trying to copyright World Chess Championship. They were trying to copyright those words so that you can't say World Championship. Now I don't think they've I mean I sincerely hope they haven't been successful, but that's that's what the joke is about, is that basically they're they're trying to like they're trying to claim that they have a copyright on World Chess Championship. So um that's such a joke. I'm I'm actually not joking. Like it's serious. I don't know if chess.com really explained the, that that part of the joke, but that's that's what the joke is. Um is they're they're trying to copyright World Chess Championship. Okay, so knight f3 g6 is played here. C4 is played. Okay, bishop g7. Uh, knight c3, d5. Uh takes takes. Knight a4, knight b6. Okay, all pretty standard. E4. Bishop g4, bishop b3, castles. Okay, so I played Le Grunfeld. Kind of surprised that I played this, but anyway, let's see what happens in the game. So I take, I take, I play rook d8, of course. c6, knight d5. This, by the way, is losing, but somehow I tricked him. Queen c7, takes. And now there's some kind of sauce on d4, right? Takes and queen, queen e5. Oh, and rook b2. Oh, that's a beautiful move by me. Man, I'm so good at chess sometimes. I'm, I'm so good at chess. I, I really do have to just say that. King c1, queen c5, king b2, I take, and now there's some kind of scissor, scissor in on the diagonal where he loses a ton of material. He goes here, I take, go back, and yeah, this diagonal is just too much here. Queen e5, create the, uh, create this beautiful, beautiful battery on the diagonal. Now it's all, that's all she wrote pretty much. I take here, queen e5, and now I think I start running the juicer, h3, and now queen a1. And yeah, this is a really, really good game. Really, really good game. Can't complain. Um, why can't he take what right away? Why can't he take the, uh, oh, oh, if he I wish you could do analysis on these boards. Chess.com should fix this. But, um, the, the reason he can't do that right away is let, let me go back here. Um, let, let me, let me go to chess.com analysis so I can show you guys very quickly. Right. So you're asking me, why can't he do that? Um, let me, let me flip the board just to show you guys. The game goes D4, Knight of 6, C4, G6, Knight C3, D5, takes, takes, E4, Knight B6, Knight of 4, Bishop B7, Knight of 3, castles, Bishop E3, Bishop G4, Knight C5, Knight 
6, I believe it was takes. Um, yeah, it was takes. I think I played queen b8 in the game for whatever reason. Takes, 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 rook b8, e5. Uh, I placed c6, f4, knight d5, queen b3, queen c8, bishop h3, queen c7, castles, takes here. Um, I believe that I played rook b8, queen f3, takes, takes. Oh, wait, sorry, no, wait, I'm missing a tempo. Wait, there's one tempo that I'm missing here. Um, what is it? Uh, what is the tempo? Somehow the king's on b1. I'm missing one tempo. Maybe, no, no, it was king b1 here, here, here. Takes, 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 rook b2. Yeah, white can't take the pawn here. Um, sorry, I should change the scene as well. Apologies. Uh, white can't, white can't take the rook here because then I take the queen. I take the queen and, um, and there's a pin so he can't capture the queen. That's the, that's the reason that he can't take the rook right away. It's just because then you, then you, then you're stuck here. That's the problem. Um, so it, it is what it is as we like to say and that's just how it goes all right so back to back to the game as i said yeah so when we look at this position um when we look at this position white cannot take the rook so that's that's the reason that's that's the reason for it um all right let's let's keep moving on so this was a very nice victory for me against robert has this one was wow this yeah by the way i swear you guys time is uh Time is just flying because even this game, I do now that I see it, I remember it. But this does not feel like January. I feel like this was like June. This doesn't feel like January at all. It's pretty nuts. Pretty nuts, I have to say. Um, to see this. No, why would I hit analysis board on the bottom when I can just when I can just rattle off 20 moves and, and pog on everyone? Why why would I hit analysis? That's just too basic. Um all right. So let's keep going. Finally, GM Valdemir Ivich's position um, is hit by back-to-back -back deflection tactics against the back rank. Reminiscent somewhat of Adam's story 1920. This was in Arena, or not Arena Kings, title Tuesday, I believe. This was recent, right? This was like a month ago. This, no. Oh, wait, no, 2020? Okay. Fair enough. Okay, B3, A5. That that was, uh, someone can tell me, but November November 20th was, was title Tuesday, right? So Bishop B2, A4 oh wait no this was actually just bullets sorry i'm 34 75 so no this is just bullets i'm thinking of a different game um so a4 knight f3 d5 is played here e3 e6 d4 knight f6 c4 bishop b4 yeah only 34 75 yeah that's back before i retired from bullet um bishop c3 queen e7 so c5 we trade everything bishop d3 knight e5 f4 f6 takes takes castles wow that's a little bit bold but i probably get some cheese sack on on like d5 or e4 or h7 somewhere in here so trade okay yeah i sack exactly and now and now i have queen e4 sack the queen create the ice skater and now i also create the battery on the other diagonal i think at some point queen e8 here uh wait if he plays queen e3 here let me let me see queen e3 is Okay. Hmm. Queen e3 and black's fine. So this isn't actually so clean here. Queen h4 is maybe a mistake by me. I should probably go bishop d3 right away. Why did I play bishop d3? I'm actually, this is a terrible game to include. Why did they include this? Why did they include this? Because this is terrible play by me. This is terrible play. Wait. No, no, no. Wait a second. Yeah, bishop d3 is just winning on the spot. No, why did they include this game? Queen h4 is just a hideous move by me because after queen e8, bishop d3 takes king b2 here here rook e2 is just a draw no i mean this is hideous why do they include this game they should only include games that are absolutely perfectly played by me i mean how dare they include a game where i actually missed the easy win on the spot uh very very poor because after queen d8 bishop d3 queen g8 then i have rook f8 and it's just uh it's just winning here because of the pin it's just checkmate and if he goes h6 obviously it's mate if he goes g6 i go check here on bishop c4 and i mean i just win the game absolutely horrible game i mean they should not have included this game they should have gone through the games done a proper analysis and got rid of any game that would show me making blunders very very bad